Okay guys, Stable Diffusion 3.0 slash Stable Diffusion XL just launched. If you're watching this video, I just recently finished editing my last video about Control Net 1.1 and I've literally been up for like the past 36 hours or so. Am I really about to put on a suit, get the get all my lights on, get my whole setup together? No, that is just a non-starter. There's no way I am going to do that right now. It's just not going to happen. So you're going to have to contend without being able to see my green suit and LED glasses. But don't worry, I'm still wearing glasses, guys, because my mic is attached to the glasses. So I need to wear it for consistency. Stable Diffusion XL, the latest iteration in Stable Diffusion. So we'll go from Stable Diffusion 1.5, Stable Diffusion 2.0 to Stable Diffusion 3.0. Finally, I've only generated the images that you see on the screen right now. This is all I've seen from it thus far. Oh, I should mention it's only available right now on Dream Studio, which is Stability AI's image generator website. It's not available as a model. They did say they're going to release it though, but they didn't give any time frame for how long that's going to take or when this is actually going to come out or whatever. So, so we'll see how it goes. What they said was the realism and photorealisticness. They also said that the ability to generate text should be better in this version. You can see the images here. The fir This first set that you see here, this prompt is what they have as the base prompt, like just the default prompt. So I just send that in because I was like, oh, that's going to be best case scenario. I don't think these images were that good, honestly. I don't really like, in on one hand, I do like it because generally stable diffusion when it comes to coherency in the inside of a space, it's not very very good. Part of the image will look like it makes sense and then part won't look like it makes sense. Like it won't look like it's a proper building. I think in this way it has done that. This does look like a, an actual building and you have like asymmetry, which stable diffusion tends to not be as good at. Well, at least not autistic asymmetry anyway. Uh, another one I tried to do is just woman face. So that's just the other thing that I tried to just see the photorealism and that's all I've tried. So don't really know what happened. It seemed like it went down, but it, it looks like it's back now. I mean, it just got released like a few minutes ago from, well, I mean, from when I first was talking. I've taken in the negative prompt that I have here, main line SD. Realistically, I don't know if this is going to work or if it's the best one or whatever, but as I said, there's no way to find out other than to just use the thing. Generate this image now. Okay, these here. But well, looking at these images, I wouldn't say any of them necessarily look too crazy. Obviously, there's the hands look weird here. L let me say upper body and like smiling or something. Okay, so this one looks nice. Oh, this is another thing. I forgot about like main line SD. You have to like photo and stuff because it has so much stuff in the model. You actually have to add stuff like that. Yeah, this this looks nice. I guess the reason why I'm not as impressed is because you already have models that can do these sorts of things. So it's not like that crazy. Like if this was, oh, okay. Oh, this one looks really good. You see the hand problem again here. Her hand is too large and there's too many fingers too. Oh, this one looks nice as well. I mean, it's not like they look bad. Oh, wow. This one also, actually these images actually look really good. All of these ones look really good. Turtleneck. Oh, so you can try this in case you're wondering. But you try this on their website. You get a free trial if you try to use it. Yeah, I, I don't think I mentioned that earlier in the video there. So wait, these two girls look exactly the same. What is this? I got I got scammed. I like this one because of the lighting in this one. Okay, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to say sign that says, um, let's say deep learning. Can I just go? Okay, I'm going to assume this goes through even with this waiting here. I think this is stuck. Or do, do I get queued? <gasps> deep learning. Okay, I don't know. They said, they said one of the things that it's... Whoa, wait a second. This image. Whoa. Okay, maybe this might be seem weird to you guys that I'm not surprised by these as much, but I'm surprised by this. But this is a really aesthetic image. This image is the most impressive one for me thus far. That might seem weird, but this one, it has such good structure. Oh, whoa, whoa. This is quite funny, by the way, because I'm literally working on a Laura that uses spelling and stuff. If I show an image of the Laura I'm working at, you'll see why I'm laughing. It spelt it, guys. Deep learning. Deep award. Learn. Learning. This is another one that reminds me of the last one has this really aesthetic setup to it big color differences it has this more aesthetic feel Ooh! oh my god oh this is also vector graphics as well too woman standing in front of sign that says airport what i want to say photo i don't want to get this vector art flight attendant oh wow this one is really nice all of these images have a very class footage um esque vibe to them i'm really interested to see how far you could push this with fine tunes and stuff because this is really good this is as good as the fine tunes on 1.5 iPod, woman holding, because this is something that Stable Diffusion struggles with. Woman holding coffee cup in restaurant, sitting in restaurant. So this is two things, being inside of a spatial location, which is going to make things more difficult. Also holding on to an item. Okay, this one. Okay, so she is holding on to the thing. Yeah, I wouldn't say her hand is being devoured by the object like you would normally see. I mean, the hands aren't 100% here. Her head is also a little too big in this image. I wonder if you can just say gun, because that's really what I want to test. Woman holding rifle.
beautiful. I guess you wouldn't be sitting there. I'm going to still say sit in a restaurant because Table of Fusion is really, has a really hard time when it comes to interacting with other objects, especially stuff where you hold in your hand, especially when it comes to weapons and those sorts of things. It just completely destroys them. So I want to see like how this looks. This one, I would say is the most good looking one, but it still doesn't look that good, right? It's kind of a little odd. I don't know what's going on there. So you can see the problem here with the hands interacting with another object. It just doesn't have enough data to be able to do that. And it kind of struggles a lot with those sorts of things. Woman holding sign that says deep learning, smiling. Uh, what? Ooh. Oh, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Okay. I'm going to try higher resolution images. It doesn't allow you to change the size of the image. You're forced to do 512 by 512. So another thing Stable Diffusion struggles with is more complex poses and stuff. So stuff like someone flying, for example. Superhero woman flying. Again, a lot of these have this very soft footage-ish vibe, you know? This one is actually really close to being good, though. This one is a little bit impressive, actually, because even though her body's at a weird angle, it maintains the proportions appropriately, and her legs don't get too long, right? Obviously, she has the double foot thing here, but this one is actually pretty nice. All right, all right. All of these look very similar to the last images, though, even though I believe the seed is get is random, so I don't exactly understand how they look so similar. Motion blur, Gal Gadot. Yeah, let's, let's, do, a, let's do a person, actually. Oh, we should check if it can actually do people. Because Stable Diffusion 2.0 couldn't do people. Emma Watson photo. Like, does it actually even know what she looks like? It, it kind of, it, it definitely isn't 100% there. I'm going to do Gal Gadot, Jessica Alba. Yeah, that's, mm, maybe. It, it doesn't 100% look like them. Oh, wait a second. Ah, uh, nah, it doesn't 100% look like her. Movie poster. Because movie posters tend to look weird because they'll have a bunch of text and a bunch of other things. I want to see now if it gets better at text and legible stuff like that. Let's go, su I'm going to say superhero. Superhero woman. This movie post. Photo. Fo wait, do I say photo? I'm just going to say this. Whoa, this one actually looks really nice. This looks like, which is interesting that you could have a model that can do real images and images like this. This is actually really encouraging for the idea of fine tuning because it means there's a lot of range in the model if it can do things that are so divergent from one another so well. These definitely do not look like movie posters. Let's say, what would I say? Movie poster. Okay, I'm going to say what? What? Tech that says, I don't know, like, one, I'm going to say Wonder Woman or something. Wonder Woman. This is also going to make the person look like Wonder Woman as well. Again, this one is another one that looks really nice. This looks like what you would get from a model. I guess I have to say photo. If I want it to look like a photo, I have to say. Again, these don't really look like movie posters, like with the name of the movie and stuff. You're not, you're not really getting that. <laughs> you're getting a lot of the Gal Gadot. Uh, this one is really interesting because it has depth. You can see the shadow here. You can see the skin here. This one is very nice. Okay, let me let me try something else. What I want to try magazine text that says Vogue. Uh, this would give me the text and it also gives me the style that I want as well. We're double dipping here. Okay, okay. You see this? This is more kind of what I'm talking about, guys. Why do all of these girls look the same? Th this girl and this girl looks the same. What, the what is that? Okay, okay. So it's a lot better at these sorts of magazine type things. I mean, this doesn't exactly look like Gal Gadot at all. And the hands is like so weird. Let me try, let me just do holding hands. Photo. Oh, wait. Um, mm, mm, this one, I guess would, would be nice, but the hands definitely just aren't there, man. Isn't there. Let me do another one here. Let me say Emma Watson photo holding woman holding sign that says subscribe. Let's see how this goes. A chess piece. Quite interesting there. All right. <laughs> oh, this one actually looks like her. What? This one actually looks like her. It's a pretty nice one too. Let me try soul scribe. Wait a minute. Oh, wait, wait. I, this is something I should try. It's just Emma Watson and Gal Gadot. The point of this is to test if it can separate concepts. So could it have an image of Emma Watson on the side and Gal Gadot next to her? Or if it's going to meld them together? Yeah, they kind of melded together, right? Yeah, they definitely melded together. This image does look nice, though, in terms of the structure of it and stuff. Stable Diffusion 3.0 slash Stable Diffusion XL, the latest update in the Stable Diffusion saga. I would say that it's decent, but for me, I'm more excited, not necessarily for the photorealism, which I feel is probably the most eye-catching thing. More so just the the structure and the fact that it's better at it can represent more stuff in the same amount of in the same model. Like what I mean is, is that I'm more excited for the robustness and the understanding of aesthetics and stuff, which seems to have been improved. That's the thing that gets me. Obviously, also the ability to write text and stuff this is probably the most obvious improvement from the last one since the traditional model would struggle a lot with this sort of it wouldn't it definitely wasn't able to do this sort of thing right especially the fact that a lot of these images like for example this stuff and this the fact that it can do an image that looks good in this style and also do a photorealistic image to me indicates that there's a lot of how should I say? A lot of robustness inside of the model, meaning that if you were to specialize in just doing this one thing, 
that it could get really, really, really good at doing this. And if you were to specialize in photorealism, it could get really, really, really good at doing that. You understand? So I'm probably more excited for where it's gonna be. I'm probably not necessarily excited for like the, the photorealism because there's this photorealistic things that already exist for stable diffusion. I'm not so excited about that because if we're here, I, you can't see me. So it's like, what am I even showing? Um. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching the video. If you liked the video, make sure to check out my, hopefully watch the, the control net video that I just uploaded because I'm recording this video while I'm editing that video. So that video should already be up by the time you're watching this. Um, and yeah, anyway, thanks for watching the video.